morning. Okay, so day two um, of Operation Teach Drama some tricks, ready for his photo shoot. Not quite sure how today's gonna go because uh, obviously drummer's not been out for since Sunday. Um, so he's a little bit wired this morning. Not quite sure whether his head's gonna be in the game for some tricks, but we'll see, hopefully he is. If not, then what I will do is I'll give him some kind of calming enrichment activity to do instead, and I will try again later. Um, but yeah, so let's have a go. So to remind everybody who hasn't watched yesterday's videos, he's going for a photo shoot on Friday, and the photographer has specifically asked if he, uh, or not specifically, but she said, um, can he do cute things like, hide his face with his paw and when he lays down will he put his, his chin onto his paw or in between his paws for a cute pose um, which he can't do that on cue or he couldn't we're sort of halfway there I think we're, he's going all right um, so today is day two and uh, let's see how it goes okay so as with yesterday we've got my little pot of rewards this is literally just um, Wolfworthy kibble um, which is part of his daily food allowance he eats a mixture of that really and raw food because I find kibble a little bit easier to use for training rewards than raw food again I've got my little piece of cloth which I'm going to be using as his chin target and I've got the um, piece of ribbon which is what I'm using to teach him the paw over the nose um, so what one should we do first we go for the I think I'm gonna go for the chin target one only because uh, like I say it's a little bit wired this morning so this is quite a calming activity so rather than immediately go for the more high energy thing which might up his arousal levels even more and make the whole thing a lot more difficult than it should be we'll go for the chin target version first so chin That's a pretty <laughs> chin. No, come on. Chin. Good boy. So um, I think I, I mentioned in yesterday's video, when they get a little bit confused and maybe a little bit over aroused, you'll find that your dog will literally chuck in everything that they think you're asking them for. I don't quite know how chin sounds like a pretty, but it is drummer's favorite go-to if he's getting a little bit confused of what to do, so. Right, should we try it in a down? Then? So, sit. Down. Can you see? I'm just going to move you down a little bit so you can see. Chin. Good boy. So that's, I'm really pleased with that because that's ideally what I want as well because if you think I'm doing this to um, for him to be able to do the poses when he's doing a photograph and yes, obviously the photographer will have one of them super duper cameras where you're going to take a million pictures per nanosecond, no doubt. Um, but ideally I want him to hold the pose for a little, uh, for, for a certain amount of time for her to be able to get the pose. So... See, it's had a little bit of um, length of time to it. Chin, chin, chin. Chin. Good. 
good. Oh. Good boy. Okay, let's see if we can get him to do it. Sit. Down. Sit down. Down. Cheat. Boy. Okay, now I think he's pretty much cracked that. What I'm probably going to do is um, I'm going to make this piece of material um, smaller and smaller. So for tomorrow, what I'll do is I'm going to literally make it at least half of that size. Um, only because come Friday, we may not necessarily be at the stage where I've been able to completely phase this out. Um, but obviously I don't want a um, great big green piece of material sticking out from under him in the photograph. So if I can phase it down to something like a five pence piece size, um, yeah, that'll be amazing. So I'm going to switch you off and restart the video again because now we'll move back on to um, are you going to hide your face? Okay, so here we are for session two. Uh, got the ribbon, um, got my dog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of food to move him away from me to reset him up so he's actually in a position in front of me at 12 o'clock. So I'm just going to try it without that piece of ribbon. I don't think it's going to work, but I just want to see if he's got any, um, if he's got any, oh, sorry, we've got an interloper, Laura. Yeah, you're not helping. No. <laughs> gives no indication of uh, putting his paw on his nose just from the cue word without the ribbon over his nose to encourage him to do it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put the ribbon there um, but I'm also going to very gently touch his nose at the same time as giving the are you going to hide cue um, and I'm hoping that going forward I will be able to then phase out the ribbon, replace that with just a little touch of his nose and the cue are you going to hide um, and then eventually phase out the actual touching of the nose so let's really set him up okay sit down you can hide good boy okay so i'm placing it on his nose you can hide good boy I'm just giving him a very, very light, literally just touching his nose as if I was stroking it, at the same time as giving the cue word. So it's very important, remember, it's very, very important to click or give your uh, reward marker, verbal reward, reward marker, at the exact time that he's doing what it is you want him to do. All right, so I am clicking at the exact time his paw is touching his nose. Such a good one, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a jackpot for that.
Okie dokie.